A Nine News investigation has discovered the extent of violence in school playgrounds across the state. The weapons being used are disturbing, but it's the reason why children are lashing out that's proving the biggest challenge for parents and teachers. The school playground, where weapons and knives have become an increasing part of lunchtime warfare and the consequences are frightening. Who could forget the tragic death of Brisbane schoolboy Elliot Fletcher? This has been a tragic loss of young life. Students are stepping out of the classroom and into a battleground. Last year there were 194 attacks involving knives and weapons, ranging from flick knives and samurai swords to bombs and even a shotgun. Twelve students were seriously injured after having weapons pulled on them. One year 10 from a Liverpool high school needed eight stitches after being stabbed in the neck. And in just 12 months, 400 students were suspended for bringing weapons to school. But there's a twist. Nine News can reveal that in 11 of the most serious cases in New South Wales schools, the student attackers were themselves victims of vicious bullying. We've used actors to demonstrate the kinds of scenarios that are turning schoolyards into battlegrounds. And this 12-year-old knows just how serious these playground scuffles can get. He was threatened with a knife at school and says a culture of bullying led to his attack. It's just standing there and all of a sudden that a knife is pointed at you, it's just horrifying. And for the teased and tormented, arming themselves with a cachet of weapons for protection is as easy as going online. People can also build their own weapons at home. And they're bringing this stuff to school? Yeah, basically. The problem is so big, specially trained police officers are now hitting classrooms to prevent cases of schoolyard torment turning into serious trouble. These type of decisions at a, in, a, in a heat of the moment thing can result in the, the rest of their lives being affected and seriously affected with some jail terms. And it's working. Just knowing that that could happen to any of us if we make one mistake is just horrible. But teachers say unless they get more help to tackle bullying, the violence will only get worse.